Hello and welcome to Lorbeck Luxury Cars. I'm Harry and on this edition of the Friday Drive, we're not doing the Friday Drive because of lockdown 6.0. So instead, what we're going to do is we're gonna have a look at a few of our more classic and collectible cars, which very happily all happen to be in red, which is very nice. And we start off with, well, what can I say? An icon, the 1963 Jaguar E-Type 3.8. Now, the 3.8 liter under here, I mean, remember, this is 1963, people. Underneath here, this 3.8 litre produces 198 kilowatts of power, can get this car to a top speed of 150 miles an hour, and will get from zero to 100 in about six and a half seconds. These were incredible figures, and it's no wonder this was an extraordinary car of the time. And being a Series 1 as well, this is a little bit more, I think, beautiful than the rest of them. And how do you tell a Series 1 from a Series 2 and 3? Very simple. One is the covered headlights. They had to get rid of those in the Series 2 to comply with all the US regulations and all that rubbish. The indicators and whatever those lights are are above the bumper and same situation at the back. And inside you've got the toggles rather than the buttons which they put in later series cars. And this of course is the coupe version. So it's got two seats in here, not the four seats of the two plus two. And that really wonderful rate sort of shooting brake styling. It is one of the most fabulous looking cars. And it's no wonder that these have been increasing so rapidly for so long. And next we move over to this, our 1988 Ferrari 328 GTS. So what does 328 and GTS mean? Well, 328 means 3.2 litre, eight cylinder, and it's just a shade over 200 kilowatts. I think it's 201 kilowatts this car produces. And GTS means that this is a target top, so it's not the coupe. So this little bit in the middle removes right away. And what makes this particular example so special is that this is an Australian delivered example. This was delivered on the 11th of November 1988 and has remained in Australia ever since and it remains in its original colour combination of Rosso Corsa with beige interior. The typical classic Ferrari colour combination. And with just 53,128 original kilometres from you, this car retains its original service history right from day one all the way today. And I think the last service on this car was done only 200 odd kilometres ago. This, if you are looking for a 328 GTS, this is the one to have. It is immaculate, super low K's, Australian delivered, ABS model update. This is the works. So anyway, let's move on to the next one. And then we move over to our 1967 Mercedes-Benz 250 SL Pagoda. Now, I don't really need to give much introduction or background on this. You all know what this is and how special it is. Under the bonnet, a 2.5 litre six cylinder mated up to an automatic gearbox in the middle. And this car comes with its original soft and hard top roof, which is very desirable, and the original Becker radio. This is a really superb example. And in this bright red with the cognac -y sort of interior tan, I can't remember exactly what they called it. Tobacco, I think it was. This is one of the most stylish and beautiful cars you can buy, especially with summer coming up, hoping that we can enjoy summer. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. And next up is our 1987 Mercedes-Benz 560SL. This was the newer generation of this. So this is the R107. So this superseded the Pagoda. And it still carries over many of the important aspects of what a Pagoda is all about. This has a removable hardtop with original soft top underneath. Underneath is a 5.6 litre thumping V8. And the other beauty about this car is this is an original Australian delivered car, delivered on the 12th of February, I believe, 1988 in New South Wales. This has an original 178,000 and a bit kilometres from you with all its service history, all its original books stamped from new all the way to today. It's a superb example. And again, being red, like all the rest of them have been, this really looks apart and is another great collector's item now that we're coming up into summer. So something you can legally enjoy to use or any of these other ones for, for what it's worth. And last but not least is our 2002 Robnell AC Cobra, build number 63. This is an icon and probably just as iconic, if not more than all the rest of these cars combined. Le Mans winning pedigree and under the bonnet is a 4.6 litre supercharged V8. So this car really goes hard if we were allowed to drive it, of course. Now we've come a long way since 1960 something to 2002. So that means that this car is packed with a whole lot of modern technologies which make it even better drive. Underneath, gone is a ladder frame chassis replaced with a space frame chassis, giving it more rigidity and making it just better all round to drive. Each corner has Coney adjustable shock absorbers and 
four-wheel disc brakes all round. And the body is made of a combination of Kevlar and fiberglass. So it's lighter and better in every single way, but still retains a classic shape. So it's one of those cars that you can actually enjoy, a classic car you can actually enjoy. So for all you classic car enthusiasts and those who are experienced, you know how important that is. So unfortunately, we're not able to get these cars on the road just yet. Maybe we will in a few weeks, who knows? But until then, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter so you can see all of our latest arrivals. We've still got plenty of cars coming through. And like we've been saying every week, they've been selling really quickly. So if you're in the market for a classic or modern car, make sure you get in touch with us today. And as always, we'll see you next week.